Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very special day for me because I just uh, released my book, Building Your Mouseless Development Environment. And I'm so happy about that, you have no idea. Because I wanted to release a book for a long, long, long time, for 24 years. Uh, and it, I, finally, I finally did it. And uh, now I, I begin to think about writing another one. So, I mean, that was great writing it. I learned a ton of stuff. Uh, cool. But it's not the reason why I'm, why I'm doing a video today. To celebrate that, I just wanted to show you my, uh, the tools I was using to make the book and uh, a bit of my workflow as well. Uh, if you want to create PDF or uh, other files from plain text. Because when you have uh, uh, an environment which is around the shell and the shell has so many tools to manipulate plain text, more plain text you can have, better it is. Like, definitely. So here we have the book. I will just zoom a bit for you to see. And here, uh, here are a bunch of, um, of directories and files. And first of all, as you can see, every chapter I have here uh, are in Markdown. I'm sure you know Markdown. It's all over the internet right now. Um, and for good reasons. And it should be even more all over the internet, to be honest. Basically, it's a very, very easy format to, to, to learn, to just, you know, do title and links and quotes and uh, words in italics only using plain text, which means characters from your keyboard. And there is no weird format, proper, um, uh, like Word, for example, where, where you need to click on buttons and then it format it weirdly and you need to fight the, 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 the application. If you only use plain text, you don't have this problem, of course. So my goal was to convert Markdown files to other formats like um, PDF or EPUB. So for that, I used a tool which is called Pandoc. And uh, I can show you here. So it's uh, just a CLI tool and um, you can use it very easily. You just uh, give it the input and the output you want and it will work. But um, I mean, for a book, it was a bit more complicated than that because I needed to, um, I needed to as well uh, link images uh, in the final file. I wanted some specific fonts. Um, I wanted some specific table of contents and so on and so forth. So um, I needed to modify a lot of stuff and to link a lot of stuff together. So that's why I decided to use Make. So Make is a CLI as well. And uh, it can read a make file, which is what is open right now. And with this make file, you can just precise all the arguments to pass to Pandoc, like uh, as you can see here. For example, here I say to uh, Pandoc, hey, I want Xelatex um, as a PDF engine, and I want the paper size to be A4, and I want this font as main font, and so on and so forth. And make file are very good uh, to link stuff together. Like if you have a bunch of stuff all around and you want to just, you know, use them all together, it's very cool because you can, uh, you can here uh, initialize some variables. And then, for example, if I want to change my cover image for my EPUB or PDF, I just have to, you know, just modify that. And instead using, I don't know, tty.jpg, why not? And that's all. And then I just need to run a command and it's over. So I have a bunch of argument. I can um, convert my markdown into PDF, into EPUB, into LaTeX, or into HTML, or I can even convert my markdown to HTML and then to EPUB. So first of all, what is LaTeX? LaTeX is another plain text uh, formatting language, let's say. I'm not sure if you can really call that, uh, call it like that. But uh, basically, it's, 
It's more complex than Markdown, but more powerful as well. It's a complete programming language, actually, because it's Turing complete. And um, it allows you to really, really uh, do a very nice formatting of your file, um, of your PDF file in that case, because what Pandoc does when it takes Markdown and converts to PDF, what it really does, it, it takes Markdown as input then convert it to LaTeX and then convert it to PDF. So between, uh, in this step in between, you can uh, just, um, if you want really a, a, a very um, more precise way to modify your formatting, you can just speed out the template, uh, the LaTeX template uh, Pandoc is using and uh, you can modify it. And it's what I did here. I just modify a lot of stuff to have better code blocks, for example, and better uh, quote blocks and stuff like that. The, I had a problem as well because Pandoc can take Markdown and convert them to EPUB, uh, and then you can read it on your reader. But the problem is uh, uh, Pandoc is not really good to create very good EPUB, and I wanted a maximum quality here. Um, so, um, and I had some returns from my wonderful proofreaders and I would say, I would like to say again, thanks to all the proofreaders of my book. I'm sorry to thank you all the time, but you did an amazing job. Um, I mean, I learned a lot of, uh, I, I improved my English skills a lot because, because of your uh, proofreading or thanks to your proofreading. So thanks a lot for that. And one of my proofreaders told me that uh, the EPUB didn't work on some uh, Mac uh, device. And I, I, I've never, I've never have, I was, I was not really satisfied by the, the quality of the EPUB uh, from Pandoc anyway. So what I did here is I use another tool, which is called ebook convert. So first of all, Pandoc was converting my Macdon to HTML and then ebook convert was taking the HTML and convert it to EPUB. And it does really, really nice EPUB, like nothing to say about that. It's really good. So it's, it's the advantage to use make and a make file like that is you can just combine different commands and uh, different stuff from everywhere and have your, uh, your product uh, at the end. So for example, if, um, and I will zoom a bit more again, you can see at the bottom of NeoVim here, which is my editor, I run an X command, which begins by a bang. And every command which begins by a bang means I want to use the CLI uh, uh, now. So with the bang command, you can do LS, for example, and you have, you have the, as output, the, every file you, you want and, and LS, is not in that case um, a NeoVim command, it's just using the CLI uh, or the command ls. You can use in your shell as well. So if I do bang make and open PDF, uh, open PDF is a task I have in my make file, it will just take every argument I have in my make file, every stuff I precise, and do this monstrous command to just compile uh, my whole book from Markdown to PDF. So it takes quite some time, especially for PDF. I don't know why, and I'm sure I could uh, improve the performances, but uh, it doesn't really matter at the end because I have to do that only once. And I will show you why afterwards. So let's, uh, let's, uh, I mean, it's compiling right now. So, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to think about that. Um, I wanted to show you something else as well. Let me zoom in on my pane. Um, is how I did the proofreading. So um, I went from the easiest solution I could find. So I have different chapters in Markdown and I sent uh, to my subscribers of my newsletter if somebody wanted to proofread the book, I mean, proofread part of the book. And for, uh, for the ones who were, who were interested, here's a book. F uh, for the one who were interested in proofreading some chapters, uh, I sent only the Markdown file. 
and I said, all right, uh, can, you, uh, can you just proofread that and just read it and just fix every grammar mistakes I made and uh, syntax mistakes? Because I, you, as you can hear, I'm not a native English speaker. So they did that and then they sent, they sent uh, back to me the files, the markdown files, and I use git, uh, simply git, just to do a diff and it looks like that. So here, uh, I will move that. Um, so here, during git diff, I have exactly the, the diff uh, between my old file and the new file, the proofread. And I can just fix easily like that. For example, here, I don't like application directly client, but something else. So I can you I can open and here is a line and then I don't know I can modify it or whatever and then I can easily come back to it and just continue my proofreading and git I mean I I read not long ago that uh, many people who were coming from different industries and being software developer afterwards were all um, amazed by git because to them it's the best tool we have and i totally agree with that even if i don't like its interface it's difficult to use and the command doesn't really make sense to me i mean it's great when you use plain text like it, i mean i know editors and stuff use complicated programs and weird stuff to just proofread i mean my method was super simple it was doing everything i wanted so it was perfect and I and I, I I'm sure I gained a lot of time doing that. So let's come back to the PDF I just um, generated. So my compilation is done. Uh, it was a bit long and imagine if you have to uh, do that uh, each time you need to each time you you change something and you need to see the results in PDF. But now I can do something else is I can run make, but with an uppercase this, guy, this time and without the, sh the bank uh, we had before. And what it will do, it will use NeoMake, which is another uh, plugin for NeoVim. And you can see there is a little bubble uh, um, uh, down the screen, just near master and UTF-8. And it means that the, the file is, is, um, is compiled kind of, um, if, you, if you think as compiling as changing one format to another, uh, it compiles but asynchronously, which means that I can do it again and then I can still continue working on my text and everything I'm doing will be uh, uh, reloaded automatically on my, uh, on my uh, right side on the PDF itself. So that's basically it. Uh, I will put all the files I used on GitHub and I will put uh, every link of every tools I was speaking about in this video in the description. Um, I will do like every YouTuber does, every YouTuber's, every YouTuber does. Uh, please, if you like uh, the content of this video, subscribe and uh, send me a nice comment or a very harsh feedback or uh, whatever you want. Uh, it would be nice to have your opinion and if you have other tools, uh, please share. Thanks a lot for watching and I wish you a great rest of your day.